We've done the hail damage repairs on our home as much as we can, but now it's time to get the truck done. And we need to have it back in time to go up to my mom's celebration of life in northern Wisconsin because we need to be able to haul this to take care of having some guests who are going to stay with us and all the hotels are booked so we have got to get the truck back. Let's go down that road. Hello faithful people, I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. <laughs> what a dilemma we have going on here, getting the truck repaired, uh, the body work done, and hoping he gets to do the um, exhaust thing too, but we don't know if he'll have time. So um, yeah, let's, I'll show you what's happening so far. Plan was simple. The truck gets fixed in the town where our daughter lives. We'd get to see them through the week and we would be able to walk to different places. It was only gonna take three or four days. It's been six and this is what's done so far. So starting with the hail damage, uh, instead of, from my understanding, instead of popping out all the dents, they're filling them in and putting this epoxy stuff over it and he's been sanding it. You can see these are still not sanded. We had to get our tanks dumped. We've been six days. Uh, it's been hot out. It's always a good idea to <laughs> empty the tanks more regularly when it's hot out. Um, the roof I guess there were some problems, I think, up here on the very front part from what I understand. Uh, so, so that's been done so far. And then, and then it's going to take uh, two coats. So we hope to have it back by Tuesday. It was supposed to take three to four days. It has now been six, and there's two more days to go plus what he's going to work on tonight when we get back from dumping the tanks. So this is where that big dent was. That was not from the hail damage. That was from another accident. And we thought as long as we're getting the one done, we might as well get the other done. So this one, he's just filling that in too. Gary thinks it's some kind of a fiberglass resin of some kind. Um, he said just to say that it was muddied in. mud eat in but he's doing um, extra stuff that he, I don't think was on the plan. Um, and, that, and that's nice, but it's taking so much longer and we really need to get it done because we can't stay where we are forever, <laughs> for one thing. And secondly, we are supposed to be going to my mom's celebration of life up in Minnesota, Wisconsin. It's kind of a combination of things. We're going to, the, the burial is going to be at a national cemetery where my dad is buried, and then the rest of it's gonna be in Wisconsin. So, but it's a ways from here. We have some people relying on us for a ride. Uh, we have other people that are relying on us to pick up the food <laughs> because others are not staying in the same places. We're all gonna be kind of spread out. Oh my gosh. So we definitely have to get this done. And we just wanted to show you the progress so far. So we're gonna take it and dump the tanks and then we're gonna bring it back and unhook it and then take it back to the shop and he's going to work on it tonight and then again Monday and Tuesday and we have to leave by Wednesday. We have to go 10 miles to get the tanks dumped. The other one was out in the country at a campground and that was nine miles. So at least if we go to the town we can go to a grocery store. feels so weird. It has been the longest week I think ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<clears throat> we just have had so many, uh, we just had so many things that we couldn't do because we didn't have the truck. And there were things that we couldn't do inside our RV because we wouldn't have any place to put them. If, if we started doing some purging or something like that, we wouldn't have any place to put that stuff except in our little tiny living room. And I already have stuff from my mom's uh, celebration of life in our little living room. It's like five by seven, I think, size, um, our living room. And we didn't get to see our daughter. Uh, we saw them one time, well, the day before the truck went in. The day before the truck got started on is when we last saw our daughter. They were sick all week. We didn't have a loaner car. Gary's been walking, I swear you've been walking like eight miles a day. He walks in the morning, he's walking in the afternoon with me, and then we walk in the evening after supper. And we're getting kind of tired of the same routes. Mm. We see the same things all the time. <laughs> it's like, I need new scenery. Yeah. We are just not the kind of people that can just sit and be in a place for a length of time. <laughs> We're getting itchy feet bad. And the other plan was that I was going to be able to do laundry before we headed up north. And uh, don't know how I'm gonna do that or where I'm gonna fit that in yet. The challenges. Yeah. One of the things that changed with the, the truck was that it was supposed to be, we were supposed to get a new hood on it and he couldn't find one. He said there was so much hail damage all over the place that he wasn't able to get another uh, for a replacement for it. It's a 22 year old truck. No, it's older than that. 24 years old. I'm not sure how he's going to match the paint. I this is going to be interesting. I I'm sure he's a he seems to be very meticulous, and we we were given really good reviews about him. It'll just be interesting how it's all going to look when it's all done. I, I when we first walked up today, and yes, we're walking to the shop. When when we walked to the shop today. And we were, we were there looking at things and <clears throat> the first thing I saw was a silver truck with a red hood on it. And I was like, <gasps> I thought that was ours. <laughs> Pretty sure he's not gonna do that. He's gonna match the paint as close as he can. But right now we are where we need to dump our tanks. So we'll be back. We dumped the tanks, we got groceries, grab something quick to eat, not even in the restaurant. We just took it to go and it's been three hours. It took that long to do everything. And we dropped off our home <laughs> and got everything set up. And now we're on our way back to take the truck back to the guy and then we're gonna walk back. And it's about a little over a mile and it's gonna be dark soon. So we brought our flashlights. We made it home just in time. Plenty of daylight <laughs> for our little adventure. <laughs> mm.